Hi guys, here's another condition we see frequently at the centre and here are some tips to help you out at home. Meet Obi, a five-year-old husky who suffered a nasty spinal injury. Picture this, he was happily running around in his garden when he let out a yelp and was immediately paralysed. These injuries are very confronting and stressful for dogs and their owners. So let me explain a little bit about them and how physio and hydrotherapy helped Obi on his journey of recovery. A fibrocartilaginous embolism, also known as an FCE, can be thought of as a spinal cord stroke. It's a disorder in which a blood vessel feeding the spinal cord becomes blocked by a piece of cartilage originating from an intervertebral disc. This results in a lack of blood and nutrient flow to the spinal cord, causing immediate paralysis or paresis in one or more of the dog's legs. Dogs often sustain these injuries when exercising or with mild trauma such as a slip, twist or a fall. While some yelp at the moment of injury, most are non-painful soon thereafter. The onset of neurological signs is very sudden, with most dogs unable to walk as soon as the injury occurs. Physiotherapy and hydrotherapy are the gold standard treatment for an FCE. As the underlying cause of neurological dysfunction is lack of blood flow or bruising, surgery will not improve the condition, and no medications have been shown to hasten recovery. Recovery can take a few weeks up to a few months, and it may not be 100% but it is possible for your dog to recover from a spinal stroke and live a good quality life. It's important to take immediate veterinary action to secure a firm diagnosis and commence intensive therapy as soon as possible to aid recovery and long-term outcomes. CT and MRI confirmed that Obi had a spinal stroke which initially caused paralysis in both hind legs. He also had trouble controlling his bladder and bowel. His injury meant that he was fully dependent on his owners to move and to toilet. You can see a very abnormal sit here. This is because Obi could not feel or move his legs. On Obi's first visit, I performed a full assessment. Thankfully, he had deep pain in both hind legs, which is an important prognostic indicator for regaining the ability to walk. Not surprisingly, there was no conscious proprioception and you can see Obi was not aware that his paw was in a knuckled position, nor did he have the motor function to correct it. Toe pinches are a great little home exercise you can start doing immediately to stimulate the neural pathways affected by a spinal stroke. Gently squeeze the skin between your dog's toes until you feel the dog make an effort to move their leg away. This is an important withdrawal reflex that can be very helpful in the early stages of rehab. Getting your dog a good supportive harness is an important tip if you find yourself dealing with the situation at home. One that supports the front and rear is important and will make your job of looking after your dog easier from a manual handling point of view. You can see the extent of Obi's paralysis when he initially started in our hydrotherapy tank. Once the belt moved, you can see Obi's rear legs just float behind him with the buoyancy of the water. He had no strength or ability to move them. To begin with, Obi was dependent on us to stand and move in the tank. His legs were completely floppy and continually crossed over each other. In these early stages of rehab, our hydrotherapist fully assists the rear legs and moves them in timing with the front legs to help Obi learn how to walk again. He also required assistance on his tail to keep his pelvis up in the water. With intensive therapy, we start to see Obi show signs of improvement. He no longer needs assistance on his legs. Instead, our therapist stimulates his tail, which is a trick we use that helps dogs to engage their rear legs. You can see that Obi is starting to take decent steps on his right hind. However, he's still very weak on the left with lots of knuckling and crossing of the legs. Obi required a lot of assistance and a whole team approach throughout these early stages of rehab. However, he was continuing to improve, especially on his right hind leg, but the left leg was an ongoing concern. It was very weak and straight, almost like a peg leg. 
and Obi was having real difficulty moving it at all. There were lots of falls and stumbles along the way, but Obi and his amazing family never gave up. And finally, he started taking some successful steps on the left hind leg, with both rear legs working together in the correct sequence. It was a joyous moment for Obi's family and our team. In addition to hydro, we also did some gym practice with assisted sit-to-stand exercises to help Obi reconnect with his rear end. Obi has come a long way from full paralysis. His motor function on the right hind leg has returned. His left hind leg has some ongoing neurological impairments, so his folks bought him a wheelchair to allow him the freedom to go on walks and visit the park. Obi has mastered his wheels and lives a happy, wholesome life with his family. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you wish to see some more.